it will be Dr. Siddharth Shet. Defocus curve and image quality metrics in eyes implanted with trifocal and need of intraocular lenses. Good evening, everyone. Without it, I would like to thank AIS for giving me this opportunity to present at the podium. Uh, my topic for presentation is defocus curve and image quality metrics in eyes implanted with trifocal and head of intraocular lenses. I have no financial uh, disclosures. Uh, with advent of newer IOLs and uh, 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 every uh, day we have uh, some new IOL in the uh, IOL world. So patients expectations for unaided visual outcome after cataract surgery have been increased tremendously in past one decade. Uh, Praise by correcting IOLs have uh, trifocal and head off lenses. Trifocal lenses clears vision at specific focal length, whereas head off, that is extended depth of focus IOL, provides continuous range of uncorrected vision over intermediate to far distances. There are a few parameters which we use to, uh, or which we can use to uh, analyze the post-operative results. One of them is the defocus curves, which allows surgeons to understand the impact of post-operative refractive errors, which sometimes happen even despite of perfect uh, biometry, on the visual performance of uh, various press biopic correcting IOLs. Uh, Higher order abrasions and modulation transfer functions are image quality metrics which uh, helps in understanding optical quality of various intraocular lenses. So these are the two uh, intraocular lenses which we analyzed in this uh, particular study uh, of which the first is the panoptics which is a trifocal IOL which is a diffractive or spheric trifocal IOL and the second one is the VVT IOL which is a non-diffractive head of IOL. So the purpose of the study was to evaluate the defocus curve and image quality metrics in eyes implanted with trifocal and extended depth of focus IOLs. It was a prospective study. Subjects implanted with these IOLs, IOLs were analyzed. Uh, sample size was 87 eyes uh, with uh, panoptics lens and 18 eyes with VVT IOL. So inclusion criteria were uh, uh, patients aged between 40 to 75 years and post-operative best corrected visual acuity of 0.2 logmar unit or better. Exclusion criteria subjects uh, with any other ocular pathologies, systemic diseases, pre-operative corneal astigmatism of more than 1.5 diopters, irregular astigmatism, previous history of any refractive surgery, any complicated uh, intraocular uh, complication or hypermature cataracts, or um, so how we, uh, we analyzed the defocus curve was at one month post-op follow-up, monocular distance corrected defocus curve was me measured in each subject using logmar chart. So here, uh, whatever refractive error pa patient had, we put that error and then we analyzed the defocus. So the visual acuity which each defocus lens uh, ranging from plus two to minus three diopter in 0.5 steps was measured in randomized order. And two sample t-test was done to compare visual acuity in eyes implanted with these two IOLs. Modulation transfer function and higher order operation were evaluated using Hoya iTRES Abirometer. Uh, internal uh, higher order operations for third, fourth and fifth order. And modulation transfer function was evaluated at five, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 cycles per degree. Now again, two sample test was carried out to compare the results. So results were the mean age for uh, uh, trifocal IOL was uh, 58 years and uh, for uh, uh, head of IOL was 55 years. Visual acuity defocus curve showed visual acuity with VVT IOL was better at all the defocus levels except at 0.5 and uh, minus one adapter. However, this difference was not significant clinically. Uh, for internal higher order abrasions, the uh, internal higher order abrasions were uh, similar in both the groups, whereas um, modulation transfer function, which is actually a, a function of uh, image uh, contrast to object contrast, was found to be significantly higher with panoptic cell at uh, specific uh, spatial frequencies of 15, 20, and 25 CPD. So defocus curve is basically for press by a correcting IOL, which helps in understanding IOL's performance at range of distances. Defocus curve were found to be statistically similar with both these IOLs. However, head of IOL had little edge over trifocal IOLs. This information could be helpful in better patient selection based on patient's need. We noted similar internal higher order abrasions in eyes implanted with trifocal and head of IOL. 
हाउर पेनोप्टिक्स रिजल्टेड इन सिग्निफिकेंटली बेटर और हायर मॉड्यूलेशन ट्रांसफर फंक्शन एट हायर स्पेशल फ्रिक्वेंसीज so panoptics is a aspheric trifocal ir which uses enlightened technology and it's designed for more comfortable intermediate to near distance whereas vvt can uh, which is a ad hoc ir which is based on spherical ablation it provides a better extended range of vision with a slightly uh, 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 lower uh, modulation transfer function thank you uh you are uh, in your study but you compared you said you you compared with an eye trace the internal aberrations yes yes sir. right and uh, what was an astigmatism that you had uh, calculated what was an uh, maximum astigmatism which was uh, in your uh, so so we excluded uh, astigmatism more than 1.5 diopter sir so any uh, patients pre operative astigmatism more than 1.5 diopter we excluded below 1.5 diopter we used toric lenses in those so cases what was your what was your limit of uh, toric lenses minimum astigmatism which you started with an toric 0.8 0.8 0.8 okay so one and 1.5 so you you want to ask that i'm just get so basically uh, uh, what is the take home message so, from so, this study uh, even though clinically uh, or uh, statistically the difference was not significant but what we recommend is in patients where uh, uh, vvt il was put they had a better uh, uh better defocus curve means if they, they develop some residual refractive error they were able to see better the visual acuity for that was better as compared to similar uh, re residual refractive error for trifocal lens that was the first conclusion and uh, trifocal lenses offered a better uh, contrast uh, by uh, means of uh, modulation transfer function so as compared to the uh, ad hoc lenses so you mean to say ad hoc will be more forgiving yeah, lens so Uh, so, uh, sir, for, for uh, if uh, there is a residual refractive error, probably it will be. But uh, in terms of contrast, it will uh, pan up. Uh, this uh, trifocal would yeah, be better. Yeah, because now the focus is on you know intermediate distances. Yes, with all exactly. This screen exactly. time, exactly. driving, and all things like that. Exactly. So I think uh, so definitely that is a better choice. So even though we we plan for plano uh, post operative, but sometimes if we uh, get a surprise, probably ad hoc will be more forgiving as compared to trifocal. Your conclusion was you said that ad hoc lens has a lesser contrast than in a trifocals. Yes, sir. At uh, uh, the spatial frequencies which I mentioned, so that's what we found in our study. The trifocal lens had a better modulation transfer function or higher modulation transfer function as compared to the ad hoc lens. No, MTF. No. You said for the contrast. You said the contrast is better in trifocals so, as compared. Uh, to probably, I said I, I, yeah. So, I was uh, trying to say modulation MTF. transfer. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, sorry. Okay. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.